so hello everyone so this is the second part and in this part i'll discuss the practical indicator and in the first part i have discussed the ideal indicator so this was the ideal indicator now the practical indicator so this is the ideal indicator circuit so if we connect a resistor parallel with this capacitor so this circuit is now the practical indicator circuit this is the practical indicator but the op-amp is ideal only right this is practical integrator due to this combination that is parallel combination of this resistor and capacitor so now the transfer function so hai to basically inverting op-amp ka hi application right because in input is applied at the inverting terminal so transfer function ka jo format hoga wo basically isi form ka hoga minus r2 by r1 ka v1 by v1 but but अब यहाँ पर बिकॉज ये इम्पिडेंस फॉर्म करेगा इट इज इनका जो पैनल कॉम्बिनेशन है वो सो लेट से इट इज जेड और ये बेसिकली जेड वन सो इट विल बी माइनस ऑफ जेड टू बाय जेड वन तो जेड टू इज द पैनल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर एंड दिस विल बी वन पॉइंट सी एफ एस इट विल बी आर एफ अपॉन वन प्लस आर एफ पी एफ एफ एंड जेड वन इज ई गोज टू आर राइट तो दिस वी नॉट फॉर गेन विच इज द transfer function so it will be minus rf upon minus rf upon 1 plus rf cfs and upon r so we can write like this so this is the transfer function now the pole zero plot so a pole zero plot this is the transfer function and we can see that there is one pole lying in the left hand side of s plane at minus 1 upon rfc right so the pole zero plot will be like this this is the pole which is lying at minus 1 upon rfc now this is the first order pole right so we can Find the we can find the bandwidth from here and time constant. So time constant will be simply the reciprocal of the magnitude of the negative real row. So it will be R F P F and bandwidth is for first order pole. Bandwidth is defined as the one upon time constant. So it is one upon R F C F. So I should write here. So time constant is R F C F and it is in second. So and bandwidth. It is one upon ten constant, which is one upon R F P F. This is in radian per second, and in third, it will be one upon two pi and R F P F. So this is the ten constant bandwidth of practical integrator circuit. Now the frequency response. So for frequency response, we put S is equals to j omega in the transfer function. T of j omega will be minus R F upon R and upon one plus j omega R F and C F. So now the magnitude of this transfer function will be numerator का तो basically R F upon R magnitude हो जाएगा and denominator का one plus omega R F C F whole square and under root. And if I talk about the angle, so अब यहाँ पर angle देखिए ये negative number है. न्यूमरेटर तो नेगेटिव का जो एंगल होता है वन एटी डिग्री एंड इसका टेन वर्स ओमेगा आर एफ सी एफ अपॉन वन न्यूमरेटर में जाकर माइनस टेन वर्स ओमेगा आर एफ एंड सी एफ सो दिस इज द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड एंगल नाउ फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ ओमेगा द हाउ द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड एंगल वेरी सो फॉर दिस दिस इज द ओमेगा एंड मैग्नीट्यूड एंड दिस इज द एंगल सो इफ I talk about the zero frequency at omega zero, zero. So this part will be zero. So magnitude will be simply R F upon R, and angle this angle will be zero degree. So overall angle will be one eighty degree. Now at the frequency that is one upon R F C F, which is the pole, which is the pole which is at line. So at one upon R F C F, this will be one. So R F upon R divided by root two, right? And angle at this one upon R F C F, this angle will be ten verse one. That is 45, 180 minus 45, but is 135 degree. Now, in that infinite frequency, this whole denominator will be infinite, so the magnitude will be zero. 
and angle at this infinite frequency so this whole angle will be 10 inverse infinite which is 90 degree 180 minus 90 this 90 degree right so this is the how the magnitude and phase is varying with the frequencies different frequencies so we can see that as this frequency is increasing the magnitude is decreasing right it is inversely proportional so it is a low pass filter characteristic right so the magnitude plot will be like this Here, this is the maximum magnitude, this one, which is RF upon R, right, at the zero frequency or DC frequency or lower frequency. And after that, the magnitude is continuously decreasing, and at infinite frequency, the magnitude will be zero. So the plot will be like, it will be like this. This is a low pass filter magnitude plot, right. This is the maximum magnitude and at this frequency that is 1 upon RFCF, the magnitude is 1 by root 2 times of the this magnitude, right? So this is the RF upon R upon root 2 and this frequency is 1 upon RFCF. So this magnitude, it is the maximum magnitude, right? This is the maximum magnitude or this is nothing but the Midband gain, इसी को basically midband gain भी बोला जाता है, यही basically DC gain है, this is the DC gain और low frequency gain, right? High frequency gain जो होता है एक low pass filter का is always zero. And at this frequency the magnitude is one by root two times of the maximum magnitude. तो basically ये three dB down बोलते हैं, so this is the three dB down. जब मैग्नीट्यूड का वन बाय रूट टू टाइम्स हो जाता है, तो दिस इस द थ्री डी विडो, बिकॉज़ ट्वेंटी लॉग वन बाय रूट टू जो होता है, दिस इस माइनस थ्री पॉइंट जीरो वन डीबी आता है, दैट्स वाइ माइन, दैट्स वाइ थ्री डी डाउन, एंड दिस इस द लोअर फ्रीक लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी, दिस इस रिप्रेजेंटेड ब of the low pass filter so this is the higher pass band frequency this is the lower pass band. so basically ye bandwidth ho gaya right the bandwidth is omega h minus of omega l which is equals to omega h because omega l is equal to zero so this is one upon rfcf which we have seen from the pole zero plot also yahan par right so yahan par ye jo frequency hai that is omega h this is the 3 dB C को basically यही basically 3 dB cut off frequency होती है या फिर 3 dB generally simple simply 3 dB frequency highest pass band frequency यही basically 3 dB because bandwidth भी यही है तो 3 dB bandwidth भी C को बोलते हैं and pole भी यहाँ पर ही लाया कर रहा है तो this is also known as the 3 dB pole frequency right तो basically एक low pass filter का जो identity है वो इस higher pass band frequency से ही पहचाना जाता है। Now, so this is the and gain is inversely proportional to omega, as we can see, and right. So this is the magnitude plot. Now, now let's have a look on the Bode plot also. And one more thing, uh, this magnitude. This is the low pass filter characteristic, right? And low in low pass filter characteristic, the general expression जो होता है basically low pass filter का general frequency response का जो expression होता है low pass filter का वो इस form का होता है general frequency response of low pass filter this is of this form t of j omega z goes to a not upon one plus j omega upon omega h अब इससे इस मैं इस frequency response को compare कीजिए तो यहाँ पर देख तो यहाँ पर जैसे अभी a not magnitude है जो maximum magnitude है तो वो basically magnitude wise देखेंगे तो आ रहा है कौन on one plus j now this omega and this rfcf so basically we can write like this one upon rfcf so this is nothing but the omega h so we can see here we can see that this is the low pass filter frequency response because this is the general expression of the frequency response of low pass filter that is e naught upon one plus j omega upon omega h this is the higher pass band frequency right so now the body plot, so 
transfer function is minus rf upon r upon 1 plus omega rf and cf. Now the body plot for the first order pole. Okay, the transfer function of format with the this is the k upon 1 plus s upon omega a. This omega is the counter frequency and k is the DC gain of body plot. So, here we will compare this again. So, here we can see that k is basically r upon r. And this corner frequency is 1 upon r f here. Right? And because due to one pole, so minus 20 dB per deck, the slope will when the corner frequency will arrive. And because origin pe, sorry. Yes, because origin pe, there is no pole at origin. So, the starting iska jo slope so starting the slope hoga, basically hoga, 20 log rf 20 log k hota hai, basically 20 log rf upon r this is the starting slope so here the body plot will be like this is tarah se this is the starting slope this is 20 log rf upon r and uske baad jaise hi ye corner frequency arrive hoga it is 1 upon RFCF, so there will be a slope of minus 20 dB per decade. This or it will be going like this. So, here for this magnitude starting, this is the 20 log RF upon R, and this is the magnitude plot. And in body plot, it is in dB. So, this is in dB because 20 log means dB, right? And this is the omega, and here this is the omega, which is 1 upon RF and CF. And this is minus 20 dB per decade. This is the zero. Now, this frequency is having its own importance because here for this frequency, per basically we can see this magnitude is zero dB. So magnitude dB ke under zero dB ka bhava jab wo linear scale mein magnitude one hoga, right? Magnitude linear scale mein one hai. तभी dB तभी dB के अंदर zero dB होता है तो magnitude one होने का मतलब है this frequency जो ये frequency है if I represent it as this is omega so if I represent it as omega b so this is the unity gain frequency because magnitude is one that's why it is unity gain frequency it is known as the unity gain frequency because at this frequency the magnitude is one and we can find this unity gain frequency how we can find ऐसे यहाँ पर जो magnitude है this is rf upon r upon 1 plus omega rf here whole square and the root right and so if i write is this magnitude in this form body plot ke form then okay okay upon rf upon 1 upon 1 plus and this will be omega upon omega a right omega upon omega a whole square under root in this form, right? K value I have substituted as RF upon R, so upper is there is a magnitude, right? Now, this at this frequency that is omega b, so at omega is equals to omega b, magnitude is one, right? So this magnitude is one. So we will simply write the magnitude as one, and this will be RF upon R upon mag. This frequency will be omega b one upon omega, right? And whole square under root. Now, this you can see that this unity gain frequency is lying very, very after this founder frequency, right? So it means omega b by omega a is very, very greater than one, right? So yeah, this part will be one will be neglected, right? So it is according you basically simply omega b by omega b will be because the under root be cancel or root will So this will be simply omega b by omega a. Or just now cross multiply the here and we it here so it will be rf upon r. Now this omega b is equals to rf upon r and into omega a and omega a is one upon rf here. So this way this omega b is one upon r cf radian per second. This is the unity gain frequency and this frequency is also known as the gain bandwidth product. Gain bandwidth product because this is the nothing but the product 
as we can see this this rf this omega v is equals to rf upon r dhaan se rf upon r and 1 upon rf root right so this part is nothing but the gain that is the magnitude this is the gain maximum magnitude and this is the bandwidth 1 upon r is here so that's why it is the gain bandwidth product this unit gain frequency so that's why it is important and gain bandwidth product is always constant means if gain is increasing it means the bandwidth will decrease because this product is always a constant quantity so this is the unity gain frequency and body plot so this was the discussion of practical integrator circuit so okay thank you